responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and loving our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? Mm -hmm. And as God parents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Mm -hmm. Sarah Jane, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ our Savior.
From all who are baptized in water and the Holy Spirit, you will form one people, united in your Son, Jesus Christ. You have set us free and filled our hearts with the spirit of your love, that we may live in your peace. You call those who have been baptized to announce the good news of Jesus Christ to people everywhere. ...of sin, and the formula is old, but certainly the realities are very new. We're saying for Sarah Jane to reject drugs so that her life won't be destroyed. Do you reject violence? Do you reject the, the violence that is international and personal too? Do you reject self- ...who come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject <laughs> sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be and of the Holy Spirit. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy church. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Today you will become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. praise and glory of God the Father. My dear brothers and sisters, this child has been reborn in baptism. She is now called the child of God, for so indeed she now is. In confirmation, she will receive the fullness of God's spirit. In holy communion, she will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God her Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship and daughtership, let us pray together in the words our Lord himself has given us. Father, through his son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see their child in the ways of faith and love. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith for what they say and do in Christ Jesus, our Lord. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. This baptism is ended. Go in the peace of Christ.